I'm thirsty. I don't think you should drink that. It looks bad for you. Nonsense. It makes me feel great. Smarter. More aggressive. I feel like I could... Like I could... Like I could... Take, Take on the world. world. Look, Hoagie, it's a hamster. Just what I need for dissection lab tomorrow. I think I need that for the band, Laverne. You know, like we could bite its head off or whatever. Hands off that hamster. Friend of yours, Bernard? He belongs to Weird Ed Edison, and it looks like he's brought us a note. It's from my old friend, Green Tentacle. He says that Purple Tentacle's mutated into an insane genius, and Dr. Fred's going to kill them both. I thought I was free of Dr. Fred and those crazy Edisons forever. But now, I know that I must go back to the mansion. Okay, we'll spread out commando style. Laverne, you go secure the area behind those double doors. Hoagie, you take care of upstairs reconnaissance. I'll maintain Command HQ here, in the lobby. What are we looking for? We've got to find where Dr. Fred is holding the tentacles. This better not take too long. I've got an anatomy final tomorrow. And I've got a show to set up later tonight. If I'm late, I don't get to test the drums. If I know Dr. Fred, he's got the tentacles tied up in his secret lab. Question is, where's his secret lab? Thank you. 
I left my little black book at home. Gee, Dr. Fred doesn't have a penny. Boy, the Edisons are a spectacularly ugly family. Fred has them neatly arranged on the desk. It's a bottle of correctional fluid. Wow, it's from my favorite movie. I best not mess with it. Why should I do that? Always make sure they get your good side. Looks like Dr. Fred wearing a powdered wig. Handsome in a way, but I'm glad he eventually accepted his hair loss. I don't really want it. I don't know the combination. It's stuck to the floor. It's stuck to the floor. It's stuck to the floor. I can't touch it, it's spiny. I'm not leaving this motel until I find those tentacles. Hoagie's got that part of the house. Hoagie's got that part of the house. Aha! A secret passage. This is all too easy. Laverne, how'd you get upstairs? Am I upstairs? I got lost. Any tentacles? What's a tentacle? Oh, just something I whipped up in my spare time. Made good pets, actually. Until one of them tried to take over the world and to tie the little buggers up in the basement. Good thing you told us that. Yeah, Bernard wanted us to set them free. Thank God you weren't that stupid. Did you say Bernard? Yeah. Okay, you're free to go. Thanks, Bernard. Yes, thank you, naive human. Now I can finish taking over the world. <laughs> Wait! Oh, yeah. Now I remember. He's incredibly evil, isn't he? Uh, I'll try to talk him out of it. Well, what possible harm could one insane mutant tentacle do? Leaping lab rats! Dr. Fred! What have you done this time, you meddling milk toast? Now Purple Tentacle is free to use his evil mutant powers to take over the world and enslave all humanity! Whoops! Our only hope now is to turn off my sludge magic machine and prevent the toxic mutagen from entering the river! Isn't it a little late for that, Doctor? Of course! That's why I'll have to do it! 
yesterday to the time machine. This is all your fault, Bernard. Behold, children, the chronogen. Da, can't you just send Bernard? No, you must all go to increase the odds that one of you will make it there alive. Have any people ever been hurt in this thing? Of course not. This is the first time I've ever tried it on people. Well, I'll be. Bernard, float over here so I can punch you. This must be that Woodstock place Mom and Dad are always talking about. What could it all mean? I don't know. I don't want to know. <laughs> Die. <laughs> Die. We may not live to see yesterday. I'm sure Dr. Fred wouldn't have done this if it weren't safe. After all, he is a doctor. It works! I can't believe it! And they said Imitation Diamond wasn't good enough. Uh-oh. Order jewels. What happened to Hokey and Laverne? I knew I should have bought a real diamond. Are they alive? My dials say that the larger specimen landed 200 years in the past, and the other is stuck 200 years in the future. Well, hurry up and bring them back. I will, as soon as I get a new diamond. Then all your buddies have to do is plug in their respective chronogons and... Plug them in? Where is Hoagie going to find an electrical outlet 200 years in the past? Yes, well, he'll be needing my patented super battery then, won't he? Now, where did I put those patented super battery plans of mine? Plans? How are we going to get Hoagie plans? Don't worry me with details, boy. Just help me find the plans. They're in this house somewhere. Now what am I going to do? I think I made myself perfectly clear. Step one, find plans. Step two, save world. Step three, get out of my house. Let's get cracking. I don't want to cause any more trouble. I don't want to cause any more trouble. I don't want to cause any more trouble. Maybe I put them upstairs. That's got to be it. Upstairs. I think it's designed to run with something. More like a small... It looks like a generator driven by a treadmill. There, it's off. But it's too late now. Warning, do not touch the Sludge-O-Matic 3000. I've got the plans! Quick, we have to flush them to Hoagie! How did you get over there? 
My ingenious super battery design, please. He flushed them. Yes! Down the toilet. No, through time! Using the highly sophisticated time flux hydraulic vortex chamber I've installed in each chronogen, you can flush small inanimate objects to each other through time. Flush small inanimate objects to each other through time. Hello? Dr. Fred, can you hear me? Drat. Did you hear something? No. Let's see if what's-his-name catches on. Oh great, I'm stuck in colonial times, tentacles are taking over the world, and now the toilet's backing up. Ogie, come over here. It's your old pal, Dr. Fred. Dr. Fred, how'd you get in there? I want you to pick up those plans you see in the chronogen, Hoagie. Bring them to Red Edison. He's my great, 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 great grandfather. He'll know what to do. You need the plans to make a super battery so you can plug in your chronogen. Okay, if you say so, Bernard. Good boy. Does he have any experience with electronics? Um, well, I once saw him take 3,000 volts directly through his head without batting an eye. Didn't he pass out? Well, he was already passed out when it happened. Time for me to save the world, I guess. Better not, that might invalid... So as soon as Hoagie gets that battery working, we're set. I'm afraid not. We still need a diamond for the main unit. And your friend in the future needs power too, if she's still alive. Alive? Get me out of here. I like trees and everything, but this one has got to go. Guess not too many birds bathe in the evening.
Hi. Don't sneak up on me like that. What are you up to? Uh, I uh, locked my keys in the car. I don't see your keys in the car. Uh, actually, I lost them somewhere. If you're locked out, why break into the trunk? I uh, have a spare set of keys in there. It's Crowbar. See you later. Yeah. It's not my car. Dirty. I hate that clown. Hey boy, you missed the party! You and the clown were having a party? No, no, last night! At the Novelty Goods Salesman's Convention! I tell you, we Novelty Goods Salesmen know how to have a good time! Has anyone ever told you you look like Don Pardo? That's strange, my wife says I look like Charlie Parker! So, oh, want a cigar? Sure, lay one of those Havanan babies on me. Thought I was gonna blow your head off there, didn't you? Well, you were right! Shouldn't smoke, it's a bad habit. That cracks me up every time. I don't even want to touch that gunk. No use in doing that, it's empty. Looks like they all escaped. Come on, I won't hurt you. Slippery little devil. I don't even want to touch that gunk. I'm attracted yet repulsed. Hands off, boy! That's a precision-made novelty device!
I can't, it's stuck. I wouldn't want to strain myself. Excuse me. What is it? I'm rather... Say, aren't you Bernard Bernoulli? Yes, that's right. I know it! You broke into our mansion a few years ago to save your little friend. What did you come for this time? I'm trying to keep a tentacle from conquering the world. Really? How nice! How's Dr. Fred doing? Well, he's still upset about the family financial situation, seeing that it's his fault and all. But he seems a lot better now that he stopped sleepwalking. How did he wreck the family finances? Well, we should have made millions on the computer game they made about us. But the resident genius locked the contract in the safe in his office and forgot the combination. Really nothing. But when Fred sleepwalks, he remembers the combination to the safe. I'd find him in the office, opening it, screaming like a cat in the oven, and slamming it again. Something about what's in there really scares him. Unfortunately, I was never able to catch the combination since he works it so fast. How did he manage to stop sleepwalking? He stopped sleeping. Fred drinks a lot of coffee. Me, I only drink decaf. I was just admiring your statue. Thank you. It's been in the Edison family since colonial times. One of Fred's ancestors carved it. This is quite an array of gadgetry you have here. Yes, it's the best surveillance system in the state. Is that a Plexus 7000 VCR? It sure is. It's got a dual tape speed motor with cobalt casing. Don't touch it. Are those Xenostal Matrix monitors? They sure are. But so clear you can see the fleas on the bedroom walls. Don't touch. Do you think I could uh, play with these a bit? Absolutely not. I'll let you get back to what you are doing. Come back any time, you big hunk. <laughs> I see a large pulsating lump with blue stripes on it. Creepy. It looks awful heavy. It looks awful heavy. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. Aren't you Weird Ed Edison, the paramilitary nut? Why, yes, I... Hey, do I know you? 
Yeah, I'm Bernard Benuli. I broke into your house five years ago, kidnapped your hamster, broke into your piggy... Hmm, nope, doesn't ring a bell, but I can't remember much about that period anyway. My psychotherapist thinks something traumatic happened to me back then that I'm blocking out. So you gave up the crazy military commando thing? I'm much better now. I don't have those... those bad thoughts anymore. Now I collect stamps. That's quite a nice collection. Can I have it? No. I mean, uh, no. They mean a lot to me. Sometimes I think they're the only friends I've got. Nice hamster. Does he do tricks? No, he just sits there. I used to have a really smart hamster, but something happened to him. What happened to the old hamster? I... I don't remember. When I try, all I can think of is a flash of light and this horrible sound. What was the horrible sound? It was sort of like... Ding! Oh God, I hear it in my dreams till this day. That hamster really should get some exercise. Well, Dad puts him to work down in the basement sometimes. But then he starts sweating, and then he gets wet, and then he gets cold, and then he refuses to work. Your dad or the hamster? Are you making fun of me? No, I... I get upset when people make fun of me. I just meant... Oh, it makes me so mad. I just want to... Relax. I want to relax. I'll be okay if I just focus on my stamps. Are all your hobbies this fascinating? I don't have any other hobbies. These stamps are my whole life. If anything were ever to happen to them... How are the folks? Well, Dad's in the basement doing an experiment. Mom's in the next room spying on our honeymoon. Ted's in the front yard. Holding up a bowl of lard? Well, it's a birdbath, actually, but it rhymes better your way. Well, hope I didn't get you too excited. Bye. Peace be with you. Hey, don't touch my stamps. Jeepers!